thanks for taking the time. And uh, fencing's been going on a little bit here, but we got a huge event this weekend, the Western Invitational, coming to the Academy. Thanks, Brian. Yeah, we're, uh, this is our first home meet, basically our first NCAA meet for the season. So big meet for us, big, very big meet. We're excited. Got a lot of good teams coming in as well, higher-ranked fencing teams. What do you tell your team as you, you, know, you prepare for a meet like this? Lots of fencing, eight to five, two straight days. Stay focused all the way through. So as I mentioned to you earlier today, we are having – Nine teams coming in, plus us, that will be 10 teams. So we're talking about each team will fence around eight matches. So definitely will be long two days. And uh, each fencing bout or each fencing match take around an hour and a half. So on average, each college will fence seven hours a day because we fence five matches uh, a day or four. So that's going to be a long day. So what I will say is we're ready. We're prepared. You guys need to... Stay focused all the way through. You're not focusing only for one and a half hour. You're focusing for seven hours. So if we pull that through, we'll be good to go. What kind of mentality does it take to, to focus for that long? I mean, because it's it's real easy to know you're fencing maybe against one of the better uh, fencers in the country, and then maybe you're, you're fencing against someone else moments later. How do you keep a focus? How, what do you tell your, your fencers? Well, we've been training on that. So once again, it's your, the bout takes three minutes yes. for the longest, or the, the each match takes three minutes. The, 20, uh, the 27 match are around an hour and a half. So the fencer will not be stayed, staying fencing seven hours in, in a row. But the focus here is once you get off the strip, how you can relax, breathe, meditate, and then bring your focus back in. We've been training on this. We've been preparing very well. We trained our cadets to uh, get attached and then detach and then reset all these drills we have uh, we have done. So I'm confident about our preparation. So let's see what these guys will do. Should be fun. Tell me some of the teams coming in. I know you got some high-ranked teams. Yeah, we got uh, Harvard coming in. The, they finished second in the country last year in NCAAs. We get Columbia, I, I believe fourth or third, and then we got. Um, Ohio State as well, fifth, and then plus the Western team are coming. So Incarnate Ward, uh, Stanford, and UC San Diego, plus UNC, uh, high up there as well, uh, Northwestern, and NJIT. Wow. So nine teams. I hope I didn't forget anything. <laughs> That's fantastic. So with so many teams coming in, you'll be in two different venues, uh, taking over the tennis courts, taking over the entire East Gym, which is where volleyball normally plays. Uh, so this is a huge endeavor. Are you doing this all on your own? I know obviously the event staff and the facilities guys are taking care of getting the strips down. Yeah, it took, it took a lot of preparation here. We had two facilities that were, were thanking the volleyball team and the tennis court for uh, the tennis team for allowing us to use their facilities. So you can imagine we're setting up 20 strips. Uh, facility will help us and also the cadets. So we'll, our cadets will chip in and just help setting up the scoring machine, the reels and all this kind of stuff. It, take, it, took, it took a lot of uh, coordination preparation, but again, I'm thankful to everybody who helped make that event happen. Final question I have for you, kind of a young team. Is this their indoctrination, so to speak? This is like, okay, here we go. This is what fencing's all about? Uh, I'll say, I, I'm, again, what I'll say, I'm excited about this. We prepared very well. We're ready. Our team is young. Uh, we had 10 freshmen came, uh, came in uh, this summer. So we're talking about almost half of the team are freshmen. So that's going to be their first match in. They will walk in, the first NCAA meet. And it's definitely differ uh, different than uh, just a Division One fencing championship. So they will not just be fencing for themselves. They will not going to be fencing 15 touch. It's going to be five touch in the NCAA format. So I'll say huge shock hit. but. We prepared them for it. We worked very hard uh, to set the stage for them. Now, we, what we'll do is if we fence, if they fence and stay focused and engage, I know they will bring lots of wins. I know that they will raise up uh, above the occasion. So I'm ready for this, and I know that my cadets are ready too. Sounds like a lot of fun. Omar, thanks for the time. Appreciate it. Good luck this weekend. Thanks, Brian. Thanks.